You're putting on fat, you're not putting on muscle. Stop force feeding and calling it bulking. In this video, I'll be going over why you've been bulking wrong and what you should be doing instead. I've been guilty of it too. I remember when I first learned about bulking and I thought it made so much sense. If I'm training hard in the gym and my weight is going up, I must be putting on muscle, right? The first time I did a proper bulk was in 2016. Over the course of one year, I put on 20 to 30 pounds of weight. This was by far the worst I'd looked and felt in my life. While I did gain some muscle, most of what I gained was fat and water weight. Then came the five month diet to lose all that weight and get back to square one. In the process of dieting, I lost a lot of that hard earned muscle. So where did I go wrong? Before I explain the best way to build muscle, we need to understand two important concepts. The first is the law of conservation of energy. The law of conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created nor destroyed, only converted from one form of energy to another. This is extremely important to understand when it comes to building muscle. If we apply it, it means that in order to build muscle, we need energy from the food we eat, from stored energy as body fat, or a combination of both. This leaves us with three scenarios that make muscle building possible. Now remember, I said possible, not optimal. The first is by eating above our maintenance calories. Pretty obvious, right? This is basically what bulking is. The second is eating at your maintenance calories on the condition that you have enough stored body fat to use as energy, otherwise called main gaining. The third is eating in a caloric deficit on the condition that you have enough stored body fat to use as energy, otherwise called a body recomp. The second concept we need to understand is the rate of natural muscle growth. In your first year of consistent training as a natural, you can expect to put on up to 20 to 25 pounds of muscle if you're training and eating optimally. Obviously genetics plays a role too, and for women it's about half this. But look what happens the more advanced you get. The rate of muscle gain attainable naturally slows down. After four years of training consistently, you might only put on one to two pounds of muscle in a year if you're doing everything right. And now that we understand these two concepts, for a natural lifter, the most optimal way of building muscle is method one. This is really important in your first three years of consistent lifting. But here's the catch. It needs to be done in a controlled way through a lean bulk. It's still possible to gain muscle through method two and three, but they aren't the most optimal. They can still be considered on a case by case basis. For example, if you're an advanced lifter and you want to maintain a leaner physique year round while supporting performance in the gym, then main gaining may be a good approach for you. If you're less advanced and have a higher body fat percentage, then method three would be a good approach for you until you lose enough body fat to start a lean bulk. The more advanced you get and the leaner you get, the more difficult it's going to be to put on muscle in a caloric deficit. At this point, it's going to be trying to maintain and minimize muscle loss when dieting. All right, let's get into how to actually lean bulk properly because so many people are approaching it wrong. The first step is going to be to get lean. Guys, if you aren't lean first, then forget it. The goal of a lean bulk is to stay relatively lean year round while slowly making gains. By doing this, you won't have to go on a massive cut at the end and risk losing all that muscle that you built. You'll also look good and feel good throughout the whole process. In order to do this, your starting point should be in the 8-12% to body fat range. If you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to get lean and work out your maintenance calories, check out my other video. Once you're lean enough, the next step is to work out your new maintenance calories. From there, add 200-300 to 300 calories to that to start your lean bulk. 200 is what I'd start with. Guys, the goal is slow weight gain over time. So eating in a 500 to 600 calorie surplus is overkill and is just going to lead to extra fat gain. A lot of people say aiming for 0.5 to one pound of weight gain per week is optimal for a lean bulk. I very much disagree. Remember this graph? you're not going to be putting on 0.5 to one pound of muscle per week. Even if you're an absolute beginner doing everything right with above average genetics and could put on 25 pounds of muscle in that first year, this works out to be just under 0.5 pounds per week. Putting on muscle is a slow process guys, but putting on fat is easy. So aiming for one to two pounds of weight gain per month is a better approach. Per week, this works out to be 0.25 to 0.5 pounds. And the more advanced you get, the more conservative you should be with this. When it comes to lean bulking guys, you wanna keep your body in this environment for an extended period of time. The absolute shortest amount of time that I would lean bulk for is three months. Ideally, you wanna keep it going for six to 12 months, even longer if you're in your first couple of years of lifting and during this time you'll have to slowly adjust your calories because as you gain weight your maintenance will change as well. Just make sure every time you increase your calories you do it slowly and monitor how your weight responds over the next one to two weeks. 
Even though you're lean bulking, you will still gain body fat as well, just at a much slower rate. But once you're around the 15 to 16% body fat range as a guy, this is a good indicator to start a mini cut. Mini cuts are a short period of time, usually four to six weeks long, where you lose some extra body fat before you start your lean bulk again. By using periodic mini cuts, you can continue to lean bulk year round without letting yourself get above a certain body fat percentage. But again, you wanna stay in a small surplus as long as possible. So I wouldn't do a mini cut without spending at least three months in a lean bulk. If you think you need to do a mini cut before three months of lean bulking, you probably weren't lean enough to start with or you gained weight way too fast. Let's not forget about training guys. This is the backbone of everything. Training is ultimately going to be the stimulus for muscle growth. Make sure you're following a structured routine, especially in your first three years of lifting. You need to be training hard and with intent. You need to train close to failure and you should be taking some of your sets to failure as well. Make it a priority to control your movements, especially on the eccentric part of a lift. You're missing out on a lot of gains if you aren't doing this. Keep a log of the exercises you do for each muscle group, the sets, the reps, and the intensity each week. Progressively overloading your training during your lean bulk is going to ensure that you're using those extra calories to build muscle. If you're not executing your training efficiently and you're not training with purpose, then don't expect the same results as someone who is. And guys, everything has to be tracked for all of this to work. We're all human, we all have events, we all eat out, and we all forget. But if you actually want the best results from your lean bulk, everything has to be managed. You need to track your calories and protein, making sure you're getting at least 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight. You need to track your workouts. You need to weigh yourself every morning. You need to track how active you are outside of the gym through cardio or daily activity. And you need to ensure you're getting at least seven to eight hours of sleep consistently. Don't underestimate the power of sleep in building muscle and recovery. If you follow these steps, you'll make way more progress and gains than with traditional bulking. Lean bulking properly is definitely the way to go and it makes so much more sense than piling on the weight for months just to lose muscle on the way back down. Leave a thumbs up if you found this video useful guys and stay tuned and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Have a long-term mindset with all of this guys and lean bulk responsibly.